we have seen in kinematics of fluid flow two mathematical models to study flow of the fluid that is Lagrangian model and Eulerian model. Along with that to study the fluid flow in more detail we need to study types of fluid. One of the type which we are going to study is critical flow, subcritical flow and supercritical flow. <music> What is critical flow, subcritical flow, and supercritical flow? To study what is subcritical flow, critical flow and supercritical flow, we have to define a dimensionless number. These three flows which we study now are similar to a flow which we have already studied that is Mach number. The Mach number is actually ratio of fluid, velocity of the fluid to the velocity of sound. Mach number differentiates between that is sonic velocity, subsonic velocity and supersonic velocity. Similar to Mach number, we have to define a number that is a dimensionless number called as a Froude number. Let us define what is Froude number. We have already seen what is Mach number equals to. Similarly, since Froude number is also a dimensionless quantity, it is ratio of two similar quantities. So let us define what is Froude number. It is defined as ratio of velocity of the fluid. It is defined as ratio of velocity of fluid to the square root of g into d. Now we already know what is velocity of the fluid that is velocity with which a fluid is going to flow. But let us understand what is g and d over here. g is given as acceleration due to gravity. Which is in meters per second square. Whereas D over here is given as hydraulic depth, which is given in meters. Now, let us study what is actually hydraulic depth since we know what is acceleration due to gravity. So, let us consider a fluid which is flowing on a horizontal surface. So, let us consider this as your horizontal surface. So this is a horizontal surface. Now this is on this horizontal surface the fluid is flowing from section 1 1 to section 2 2. Now since there is no obstruction between this entire fluid flow the fluid is going to flow in one direction with a uniform velocity or it might accelerate or deaccelerate depending upon the flow conditions. But as soon as we introduce some amount of obstruction in the flow of the fluid, then the fluid characteristics change. Now let us actually keep an obstruction or a wear which is between section 1, 1 and section 2. Now what does this wear do? Initially, this entire fluid was at this level. This is called as initial level. Now, as the fluid just needs to flow ahead, this level is going to rise. After a while, when it reaches the maximum height, that is this height, it is going to flow over the weir and it is going to flow further. Now, during this, you can see the initial level 
which we can consider this level as D is also over here which is D. But as we introduce a wear over here, the initial level has increased to a value that is D1. Now since there, there is increase in the level over here, what exactly happens over here? The velocity of the fluid decreases. Now this decrease in velocity is related to this hydraulic depth D1. As it goes further, it goes just above the fluid, then here the depth is actually D2 and here the depth is actually D3. Now, let us understand how this D1, D2 and D3 are related to subcritical, critical and supercritical velocity. Initially, we have seen that when a fluid was flowing over a flat surface, it had some hydraulic depth D. But now we are going to introduce an obstruction or we are going to introduce a wear. This is the surface In initially the fluid was flowing towards right. But now what we are going to do is we are going to actually put an obstruction or a wear. So this part is called as a Wear. wear can be any obstruction generally in the flow of fluid or flow of water in a river stones are generally wears what they do is they actually increase the hydraulic depth due to which okay they increase the hydraulic depth due to which velocity beyond the wear that is actually greater so let us see what is fruit number according to this characteristic so initially the fluid was flowing at this level so let us consider that level as d or hydraulic depth d now as the time passes this entire fluid is going to collect over this entire wheel now as this has collected over this wheel it is going to flow down so let me draw a diagram to represent this when it is flowing over the wheel so now this entire fluid is going to some level then it is flowing over the wear and it is going down. Now you can see over here this part is actually D1. Here the hydraulic depth is actually D2 and here the hydraulic depth is actually D3. Now over here D1 is always greater than D2 which is always greater than D3. This hydraulic depth will actually change the velocity of the fluid in the flow. Now how does this change? Let us understand this part. We have defined your fluid number as Fr equals to V that is Vf velocity of fluid upon square root of G into D. Now this for a subcritical flow this will be D1 because it is on the left hand side of the beer and fruit number is actually less than 1. Velocity of the fluid is lesser than square root of G into its hydraulic depth. For this flow is called as subcritical flow. Now, if fluid number is equal to 1, that means velocity of the fluid is equal to square root, square root of, velocity of the fluid is equal to square root of G into D2. That means here the hydraulic depth has decreased. Due to the decrease in hydraulic depth, the velocity of the fluid has increased. So, the velocity of the fluid will be equal to square root of g into d2. Now you can see over here this velocity of fluid is exactly equal to root of root of g into d2. Now what exactly happens over here? Actually we define one more parameter that is critical velocity. Critical velocity is defined as square root of g into d. Now if the velocity of the fluid is equals to critical velocity then it is called as actually the critical velocity.
and if velocity of fluid is less than critical velocity then it is called as subcritical flow and at the last if the velocity of fluid is greater than if the velocity of fluid so the velocity of the fluid is equal to the critical velocity now if the fluid number is greater than 1 that means the velocity of fluid is greater than square root of d into g now this hydraulic depth will be decreased here the velocity of fluid is greater than critical velocity so that means over here the fluid number is greater than 1 as well as the velocity of fluid is greater than square root of g into t3 now what happens over here this flow is called as supercritical flow so when a wear is actually kept in a flow of the fluid it actually first increases its depth first the depth becomes d1 then the depth becomes d2 and then the depth becomes d3 so d1 is greater than d2 and it is greater than d3 now during this what actually happens is the velocity at depth d1 is actually lesser that is why the flow is subcritical flow as it goes over the wear it is just tending to increase its velocity that velocity at which it goes from subcritical flow to a supercritical flow at that moment of time the velocity of the fluid is called as critical velocity now beyond that once it has gone down from the wear where the potential energy of the fluid gets converted into kinetic energy that we'll learn in Bernoulli's principle here the velocity drastically increases that is it goes from laminar flow to turbulent flow and that velocity is called as supercritical velocity now this application of supercritical subcritical and critical velocity actually you can test this at home if you actually have a horizontal surface or you can take a plank of a wood and you can keep just below the tap now once you keep just below the tap a horizontal plank what you observe as you gradually increase the flow of the uh, flow of the tap what you can see over there is you can see as the water flows at this point okay this point will be called as a source point from that it will go radially outwards from the source point and the depth of this entire fluid is very less that means over as it goes down and spreads across the velocity of the fluid is very large but afterwards you can see actually there will be a circumference at which there will be drastic increase in the depth now that drastic increase in the depth means what it is converting from a supercritical velocity that is supercritical velocity to a critical velocity at the instant and beyond that it will be subcritical velocity so that means when you just open a tap and when the water is flowing it will flow radially outwards when it is flowing radially outwards you can see the depth is very less when the depth is very less the flow is called as supercritical flow and the velocity of the flow is very high but as you can see after a while the water will always creep in towards the source that means what happens over here over this edge the flow is called as the critical flow and beyond that the velocity is called as the subcritical velocity and the flow is called as the subcritical flow. I hope you have understood what is difference between critical flow, subcritical flow and supercritical flow and the application of fluid number. Thank you.